So that's it with these two new features. These two features which our users have been asking, but now I want to show you something brand new. So this okay. is a grand uh, new reveal. So this, with this, I introduce you to the new Adobe Captivate web. <laughs> so yes, we what? are now also <laughs> going to launch the web version of our product. So Captivate is not restricted to your desktop alone. You can now log it. And with this new product, there's no installation needed, uh, automatic updates every time we launch a new version. It will be automatically updated here. And you can see over here, you can create a project from scratch. So you can just click this and this is going to create a new project. You can upload a project which was created in using your desktop version of Captivate. So we are looking at, you know, you being able to open those projects uh, in the web version. And then these are some additional workflows we're working on. So you can use AI to create a new project. So, you know, the auto generation capability you just give. I've, we've, we've, I've shown you a demo of this before. This is coming soon. It's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. But here you just give the title, you give the, an objective and the audience, and it'll automatically create your course using AI. And then over here, you can create it from featured quick start projects. So these are new workflows which will also be added. And all these projects are now going to be saved on the Adobe Cloud. So, so you can then access any of the courses that you've created before from the web. And the biggest thing over here is the web collaboration capability. So anything that you that you create over here, you can collaborate and you can add, uh, you can share it with another author. So you can see on the top banner over here, there is an option to invite people. So you can now co-author oh, cool. a course. Yeah, you can invite people okay. and, you know, the multiple developers can work on the same project together. So this is another feature we're adding. We had shared the share for review where you could invite people to review your courses. Now yes. you can also invite people to author your courses. And you can see Very that. Cool. Yeah, and this web version has all the power, all the features of the desktop version of Captivate right? The new Adobe Captivate. So you can see over here, all the slide templates are there. So you can uh, create a project using this. You can add these blocks. You can add your oh, media I thought it blocks would be to slower it. too, but that seems pretty quick. Like, <laughs> yes, that, uh, that looks good. Yeah. And you can see over here, all the features, like we just recently oh, launched the so cool. question pool capability. So you can see that it is yeah, here. Yeah. Right. And so wow. anything, you know, when we uh, introduce a new feature, it will be available on the web version. I think a little faster than the desktop version, but we will make sure that all the features when we launch it will be uh, in both. So you won't need to use two separate products, right? You will just have this one wow. product with all the features uh, that cap and the power of Captivate. So you can see I added uh, some content slides in here. Let me sure, add yeah. some widget as well so you can see you can add your widgets and all the panels on the right the pi panels which will let you edit this further they're all here on the right so let us just go and uh, you know the interactions the animations the oh, audio yeah. the accessibility all that so you can see all this is very similar but the only uh, functionality which is not there is the simulation capture because you're already on the web sure. so you will need to use yeah. the desktop version for that right but otherwise all these features are there so let me just show you the project which i just imported uploaded from the desktop so this is the one i had created this has a lot of functionality already in it so let me just let's just review it and see it. So, you know, the user interactive component. So this is a project where I'll just quickly walk you through it so that you can see how this is imported into the uh, into the web. So here, mm -hmm. this is a project I created using input box where you can personalize your course and you can see it has personalized. It's added my name here. And then there are these branching uh, slides which I've added. This is an interactive video. So you can see that interactive videos also work and can be created cool. in the uh, you know web version. So we're here in Adobe's head. So you can see uh, the two different uh, slides uh, overlays in your interactive video. We have that and the feedback. You know it's working over here. So everything that I built in the quarters in downtown San Jose uh, using the desktop version 
it has seamlessly uh, been uploaded to the web version and I can now use this here. So, so this is a, uh, so here you can see we have links. So I'm just quickly walking you through all the features which are there. So this is the long scroll format. So this is also mm -hmm. there. And uh, let's look at anything else, which, and you can see that the forced navigation, that's also there. So you can see this widgets in the force, this navigation Excellent. is enabled only when yeah, the learner. So this is a custom interaction I created, which shows a block only when a particular option is selected in the drop down. So all these custom interactions, the widgets, which are redesigned uh, interactions, the quizzes. So all all, all this is now, um, you know, you can create a, a very engaging course using all the powerful features of this on the web. So, you know, anywhere, you, wherever you go, you can access this. You don't have to have the desk, the laptop or the, the machine on which it's been loaded to work on it. So you can see all the functions over here are working. Now let's look at another project which I um, opened from the thing. So this is a long scroll course, which I picked up from the uh, from the Adobe Cloud. So this was saved over there. So you can see with the new Adobe Captivate Web, you can create your course using any of these four workflows. And you know all the files that you create will be available on the cloud and you can invite folks to edit it. So this is the new Adobe Captivate cool. Web. So I like right off the bat, I think, you know, I'm going on vacation tomorrow and mm -hmm. I'll be heading to Mexico and I don't like to bring my laptop with me, but mm -hmm. I do bring other devices as well, like tablets, smartphones. I don't expect you could do this on a smartphone, but certainly, you know, maybe a larger tablet. If there was like, not that there are too many e-learning emergencies, but let's say a client reached out to me and said, oh, I need this one change. I need it to be implemented as quickly as possible. In theory, maybe it's still early days, but in theory, I could just do that on my tablet because I don't, you know, even though it, it's not Windows, it's not Mac, I could open it up in a browser and take care of those changes, publish it out and send them the updated SCORM package, let's say. That's, that's really incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think uh, this, uh, you know, it's a, it, we're all very excited about this new product and we'll be launching it sometime next year. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.